guess I just wanted to share a little bit about um, what we do for our family whenever we're sick, since there's so much going on right now with the, the immune systems are being challenged in so many different ways. Um, so I just wanted to share a little bit what we do. Uh, the first thing we do is we know, first of all, everybody's weaknesses. Everybody has something that gets attacked when they get sick. For Some people get headaches, some people get sinus decongestion, and some people have um, issues with the lymph system. So for me, uh, lymph, lymph nodes are the first thing I try to make sure are clear. I use grapefruit essential oil and I apply it to the, um, the throat. Everywhere that there's a lymph from or along the hip area is a big area. There's tons of lymph nodes there. So I massage grapefruit essential oil there. That is the first thing I do day one. I can notice a difference in about 24 hours if um, everything's being moved out and lots of hydration with that. The second thing is our whole family seems to get ear infections very easily whenever there's any kind of infection happening. So I will start with Melaleuca essential oil. Uh, for myself and my husband, we'll just put a little bit in the ear. If there's no pain yet, we'll just put it on the outside. If there is actual pain though, for myself, I'll actually put one drop in there and that usually will help uh, stop the infection. Uh, for my kids though, I'm very careful. I just put it on my finger and put it around the ear and it will just naturally go in slowly. Um, that has, my twins used to get an ear infection every single time they were sick and that seemed to stop it and nip it in the bud immediately. <clears throat> um, the next thing is my husband gets horrible sinus congestion. Every time he's sick, that seems to be his weakness. So I was on a mission to figure out what is gonna help his sinus is clear and not to get a sinus infection. Uh, the, fa the best thing I found is a <clears throat> to start with a facial massage of the sinus cavities. So I would start with coconut oil and I would put it on his face and massage the forehead, the passageways, and then right here and just do a gentle massage to move that fluid out. And when I was finished, then I would put an essential oil called, um, it's actually called Sniffles, it's for kids. I have to find out the brand, but it's a really good essential oil. And then I would also use Allergy Relief. That one's from Revive, but I don't work for any of these companies or represent them, but this is, we use several different essential oil companies. And uh, that actually cleared up his sinus congestion and within 24 hours, he was clear and not having an infection. Elderberry is a big part of our what we do here because we we love making it. It's um, easy to make and we put a lot of really yummy ingredients. We put echinacea, ginger, cinnamon, fresh orange, um, essential oil, and uh, we make it all organic and the kids really like the taste of it because of the, we use raw local honey as well. And that we use that preventatively and we use that when we are sick and it's powerful in both ways. All right, next I want to enjoy, uh, what, next I want to discuss fevers because when our kids get a fever, it is horrible. It's miserable to watch them look sick and feel bad. So we have figured out a routine that works really well for us. Uh, the first thing I do is I get a big bowl of like you would do a mixing bowl. I put warm water. I add essential oils of lemongrass, lavender, tea tree, and eucalyptus. Do a couple drops of each one and a washcloth. I'll have my child sit on the towel and I'll wash their back and their chest. It helps opens up those pores and helps them, um, the body just re uh, sweat and re remove those toxins naturally, which makes the fever come down because the pores are open, the body can sweat and start getting rid of all the stuff inside. Um, <clears throat> that has never, I've never had to do that more than two times in one 24 hour period to keep the fever down for them. And they smell amazing. So it's wonderful to have cuddles after that. Um, the next thing is um, nausea. For us, we really like ginger for nausea. It's a warming to the stomach. You can We do either two drops in a water or um, the tea, ginger tea is even more gentle than the oil. That really helps soothe the sick stomach. So those are some of the remedies we do for our kids whenever everybody's sick and we try to keep all the infections out. And I uh, hope you enjoy it. Thank you.